You get to recreate human society as you see fit, but you will be reborn with random race, gender, family, wealth, location, etc. So I can make everything perfect. Right. So if I can recreate human society, I can make it that like everyone is equal, right? So things like wealth and location would be redundant in that case because it wouldn't matter. I probably would, you know, because if you can make a world that's perfect, then like, like, it doesn't really matter, like, wealth, location, family, race, gender, it doesn't matter. Because it's going to be good either way, isn't it? Yeah, I, yeah, I'd hit that button, yeah. I mean, it's a huge responsibility, but you can make the world a great place, so... There wouldn't be really any negatives to it, would it? You can kill anyone, but that person's ghost will chase you. Um, well, first off, I don't want to kill anyone, I don't have a grudge against anyone, I prefer not to. So, and, I, I, they would chase me, like, they wouldn't be able to hurt me because they, they're a ghost, right? They're intangible. But, that would still be kind of scary, so nah, I, 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 I'd rather not. You can create a month named after you, but there will be riots outside of your house because everyone else wants a month named after them. So, so that means there'll be like millions of people wanting a month named after them, which is completely stupid, because there'll be far too many months that wouldn't make any sense. That's, no, that's, that's silly. What's the point of that? It doesn't even work. You can see through walls whenever you want to, but the wall, the wall breaks as soon as you look through. That, <laughs> that'll be really funny though. That'll be really, wait, so you can see through walls whenever you want to. So I, I can, I can choose what walls to see through, right? So if I want to break a wall, I can be like, boom, that one destroyed <laughs> that'll be really funny but also the power of it would be kind of useless because the ability to see through walls you know that's the whole point of it to be able to see through walls but if it breaks it kind of takes away the point of you being able to see through it because you're going to see through it anyway and people are going to realize that you are seeing through it if that makes sense so It'd be cool to, you could, uh, basically the power is, is destroy any wall you want just by looking at it. It's basically all the power is, so... Yeah, I mean, I would, like, like, cause like... It could, it could come in real handy, it's just a random power being able to destroy a wall whenever you want to. That's, that, that's really useful, I don't, I don't see why not. You get the boy of your dreams, but he will die five years earlier than his proper death day. Um, um, I, I'm, I'm heterosexual, thank you very much, I, I, I will not. Be able to kill any person in the world and get away with it, but everyone in the world knows you have this power. Ooh, okay, see, that's actually, that's, that's quite good, because people would, like, want to pay, people would both fear you, but they would also want to use you. They'd like they could like they'd like pay you to like kill someone for them. But then people would fight. No, it's you. See, you you get like ah. Uh. People would like like I think what would happen in that scenario when people fight now. Well, people are gonna know anyway because everyone knows. Everyone will want to kill you because you can kill anyone you want. They'll, they'll either fear you or try to kill you. It would be either those two things. That's not a good way to live. I would I would not like that. No, thank you. Really. 63% of people press that button? Holy shit! You can turn invisible and back again at will, but you will die on your 60th birthday provided you make it that far. Okay. See, that's another good one. So I get the power to turn invisible, pretty much. But I will die when I turn 60, so my age just gets limited. So I'm 22 now, so that gives me 48 more years to live. Which is quite a long time, you know, and the, and the ability to turn invisible, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good power. But then again, considering the like average like life expectancy these days, I'm missing out on another like 20 years of my life. You know, because the average life expectancy I think is like 78, something like that, 75, mid 70s, something like that. So that's a long time. You know, that's 15 to 20 years of life that I'm gonna miss out on. But I can turn invisible. So so how can I use like like how would that impact my life? Like, I've got to like figure out like a balance, you know, like is it really worth it to have the power, is having the power of being of being able to turn invisible more important than having extra like 20 years of my elderly life? So you see that's, that's what makes it hard, you know, like, like I know it's a basic question but I'm, I'm like over, you know, exaggerating it a wee bit, but that's the whole point of these videos, I like to talk about these things, but I don't know eh, like, uh, I, I like to live for a long time, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I don't think I would. In the end, I don't think I would. You get married with the most beautiful, be, 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 beautiful, beautiful. You get married with the most beautiful woman in the world. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assume that means beautiful, but beautiful. You could take that 
a completely different way, but you got 100 children w with their she. Okay, so I'm going I'm going to assume that you get married to the most beautiful woman in the world and you you have 100 children with her? Isn't that a good thing? That means you get to bang her a lot. I mean, 100 children, yeah, that's actually that's actually a little bit. You can't it's a physically impossible to have 100 children unless you have like quadru quadruplets or triplets like consistently each time, which is also pretty much impossible. That's impossible. I will not press that button, thank you very much. 100% world peace lasting forever, but every technological advancement in the last 200 years is reverted and we have lost all knowledge of them. See, the thing is, if we have 100% peace, like forever, we're going to eventually get them back again. See, that's the thing. Huh, and we've already worked towards world peace as it is. You know, it's not 100%, but it's, we're, we're at the most peaceful, uh, historical, you know, time, time period that we've ever been. So, like, it kind of takes away the point of development and stuff, you know? Because, like, as a human, yeah, a human species, we've, like, developed world peace. So just getting it, just like that, and getting rid of technology that kind of takes away, like, the purpose of it, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, there's even a comment here that says, Humans would eventually revert back to modern time technology and since there's world peace, assuming that the mindset of humans is simply not to hurt each other, hurt, hurt another human, technology will be much greater and more accessible. And, and that, that is pretty much what I said at the beginning. So, yeah, like, like, considering, I, like, I, I've, I'm saying two different things here, but, mm, ah, I don't know, this is a hard one. I, yeah. How quickly, will, how quickly will we get technology back again, though? That would suck. That means, like, I, I'd go without internet. You know? I, like, I just, boom. No, no, no PlayStation, no video games. No, I'll be bored, man. What about me? <laughs> like, I'm making this decision here, and the world's pretty peaceful as it is right now. Well, not, it's not, you know, 100% peaceful, but it's pretty good. And we're getting towards a more peaceful time, so... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can heal anyone of any injury, but you suffer from the injury instead of them. Ooh. So I could be like a... I could be like a supernatural healer. But, I like, like... Oh, see, that, that, that's kind of... That doesn't... That's kind of bad, because, like... What if it's a super serious injury? What if it's cancer? I heal them, then I get cancer. It's kind of not fair on me, and at the same time... If I heal too much, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> And that's it, you know. It'll be like a kind of a few times or one time thing, depending on what kind of injuries they are. I guess, like, I could just take this ability and save it for when I'm way older. Like, say I'm on my deathbed, right? And say, like, this little kid with cancer shows up, you know? I could take away that kid's cancer, and since I'm old and decrepit, I'm gonna die anyway. So that would, like, th that's really good. When you think of it that way, because I, I don't have to heal anyone, I don't have to tell anyone about the power. But when I'm dying, when I'm lying in my bed dying, I'm like, come here little boy, I'll, I'll like heal him, boom, no cancer, I've got the cancer, I'm dying anyway, I'm gonna die, and he's got no cancer, it's sweet, it's good. Yeah, I, I, I'll press the button, yeah, 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 like, like when you think of it that way, it's, it's, it's good, it's really good. Okay, here's a good one to finish it off on, I think I've answered this one before though. I think? It looks very familiar, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You can live your life as a wizard and go to Hogwarts, but everyone you, you care about will forget you ever existed. What one do you guys pick? Me, personally? Oh, see, see that's, that's, that's a really hard one. Depends how much of a Potterhead you are. And I'm, I'm a bit of a Potterhead, okay? I love Harry Potter. I grew up with that shit, so... Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd love to go to Hogwarts. But everyone forget about me. That would suck. I'd, I'd like lose all, my, lose all my friends that I have now and, and everything, you know? Oh, that would suck. Oh, anyways. That is another episode of Will You Press The Button. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's great to be back and doing this kind of stuff again. And as usual, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.